Okay, hi everybody, welcome along. John Robbins here again. I'm just going to run through the page one infiltrator and what it can do for us and how we can make lots of money with this fabulous tool from Anthony Gardner and Tony Marriott. Okay, now a lot of you have bought this, so I want to go through this very carefully with you. These are the things that Google actually looks for when it's looking at websites and how to rank them. Keyword in title, very important, okay? Readability or engagement. If you're writing a child's blog, then it needs to be in kids' language. If you're writing a scientific blog, then obviously it needs to be more elaborate and in scientific language. So if the targeted user can't read it, it's too childish or it's too advanced, then obviously readability will go down. And what that actually means is bounce rate. If people don't like the site, then the bounce rate's gonna go up. The bounce rate's high, that's another thing that Google ranks websites on. Keyword and H1 tags, very, very important. So many people miss it, it's unbelievable. Keyword in domain name. Now, I know a lot of people say that uh, keyword and domain name isn't that important now. Just about every single one of my websites is, is a keyword in domain, and they all rank just fine. So I think it's very important. Google is actually still highlighting the keyword in the domain. So if it's not important, why is Google highlighting it? A lot of people are panicking about Penguin and Panda and trying to work out you know, why rankings have fallen. And I think people are just highlighting things that they think might be the problem. But keyword in domain, for me, is still working. Keyword in page URL, okay? That's very important as well. You know, every page URL that's on a different subject uh, within that broad niche should have that keyword in the URL. Social network or social signals. Very important, I've been going on about this for some time now. We'll, we'll go back to the computer in a minute, we'll run through that graph and we'll see how important social signals actually are now. Uh, likes, YouTube, retweets, pins, reposts, that's what we're looking for. Page load speed, obviously slow is bad because the slower it loads, the longer it takes for people to see it and some people will get bored with it and we'll just turn it off and Google doesn't like uh, page speed being slow. Keywords in header tags, LSI keywords as well if you can get them there. Okay, keywords in image alt tags, not just the image alt tags, but the file name as well. I keep teaching you that before you name an image, before you upload it to your uh, site or blog, make sure you name it on your hard drive. It makes a big difference, okay? So it should be named the keyword on the hard drive. Keywords in image file name, there we go. Keywords uh, in emphasized text, that's underlined, bold, italics, in inverted commas, that's all emphasized text, your main keyword should be appearing there three or four times in emphasized text, okay? Site popularity equals traffic. How popular is a site? Look at the Alexa ranking. Uh, lower is better. So the lower it is, the better. Keyword and outbound link, um, that's obviously very important as well. Outbound links, I always tell you to use high page rank sites, let's get it right, such as uh, Wikipedia um, or governing bodies of the business or industry that you're actually inside or working with. Okay, so keyword and outbound URLs as well. Okay, if you've got your outbound URLs, you should have your keyword in that too. It's not difficult to do. If it's Wikipedia and it was the tree surgeon, we used Arboris, which is another word for tree surgeon, and went to Wikipedia with it. That's a keyword and an outbound URL. Keyword in meta description, very important. Site hierarchy, that tells you how deep your web page is in your site. So if you've got a, a drop down menu, for example, and it's fifth on the menu, and you're trying to rank that one uh, on page one, it's deep in the hierarchy of the site, so it's got less chance. I'm not saying you can't, because you can, but it's just got a little bit less chance of, uh, of ranking that well. Keyword in meta tags. Um, yeah, that's very important. I've often told you recently that Google doesn't actually look at keywords, but what it does is it adds to the page relevancy. Google doesn't take a long notice, but that doesn't mean that Ping doesn't, and it doesn't mean that Yahoo doesn't, on all the other search engines, okay? So that's very important. Uh, at least they'll add to the relevancy of the page. Keyword in the first sentence. Whatever your first sentence on your page, you know, this, I know this is to some people basic SEO, but there are some things here that I really wasn't paying that much attention to. So your main keyword in your first sentence, okay? Keyword in your HTML comments, okay? That's another one. Keyword in body text, the amount of times you put your keyword in the body text. And uh, we mustn't over-optimize here. SEO link analysis. Okay, so your SEO links must be good. There must be a mixture, there must be varied, there must be different anchor texts, and you know, we have to make sure that we do this with a new Google now. Keyword saturation, nothing worse than saturated keywords now because Google doesn't like it, and it's made it very, very clear that it will penalize for over-optimized keywords. 
Tabular keyword count, that's another one you've got to look at as well. And table word count, which is obviously the amount of words on your page in comparison to your competitors. And table character count. And of course, these things have increased recently because Google wants to see good quality content. So the longer the article, around about 700 words, the better. Right. So the biggest question that you'll hear for me to answer is how can we immediately start to make some money with page one infiltrator? And I've got a little document by here. I say it's little, I mean, I'm sure you remember this thing. It's called Yellow Pages, all right? Best place to start. Okay, now, I can remember when I was a kid, I'd have to get Yellow Pages and pick it up like that. Now, look at the size of that. It's almost A5 size now, it's ridiculous. So, uh, that's Yellow Pages. And I'm gonna start at A, because we're gonna look at one of the most profitable businesses that we can have on board as a client. And I'll start with accountant, okay? If you get an accountant on board, right, first of all, accountants are doing accounts for other business. Secondly, you need an accountant as well. So if you have an accountant and say, look, you know, I'm a, a marketing company uh, based in your town and um, I'm looking for an accountant and that accountant then will, come, will make an appointment to see you and you go and see them and they are interested in what you do. But here's the thing, all right? We're gonna find accountants in here that are not on the web, okay? Accountants in here that are not on the web or are not ranking well on the web. And we'll switch over to the computer in a second and we're gonna have a look at exactly how that is. The reports that I've got at the moment, I've already told you that I've had new customers already by using those reports. And I'll show you how I'll do that in just a moment on, at the computer. And you know, this stuff actually works. So, you know, it really is important that we don't just leave this piece of software on the back of the computer and just use it when we want to analyze somebody's site. We use it as a sales tool because it is a very, very powerful sales tool. I'll see you when I get back to the computer.